I have partnered up with Meta to bring you how to run Meta Legion ads in 2024 from someone who has personally spent over $5 million on lead ads for my clients. So who is this for? This is for people who sell a physical service. I know for us, we like to use lead ads for our agency, for clients and stuff. I used to run a automotive detailing business and I would run lead ads to acquire leads of people who needed their car washed. Maybe you have a coaching offer or like info product that you wanna acquire leads. I know for me, I have one of my info products that we use uh, for people to apply for it and we use lead ads to acquire those leads. Maybe you have a high ticket e-com product. I know uh, through a buddy of mine who has an agency and he was using lead ads to acquire leads for selling these like, you know, $1,500 to $5,000 saunas online. So they would have a, you know, a, a e-com store set up and they would, um, you know, have like the saunas and stuff like that. And then people would basically like, you know, put their information in to, um, you know, instead of just buying now and they would have their sales team go ahead and call up those people and it worked extremely well. Maybe you're hosting an event, right? I'm going to an event in like a week or two. And you know, partially how I was able to go to that is literally by just clicking on a lead ad uh, for that event. Maybe you're building an email list, right? Maybe you wanna offer people some free valuable information if they enter in their name and phone number. And you wanna use that to push some of your other products or content to, to nurture those leads. These are all great places that you can leverage lead ads. And now I wanna break down the four types of lead ads that you can run on Meta. So number one is instant forms. It's probably the most popular one, the most commonly seen one that we see all the time. These are really good because it makes it easy for people to basically fill out their information. And then the second thing is it also allows you to use conditional logic, which we will be going in this video and breaking down of how to use conditional logic and how to create those ads and stuff like that. So conditional logic is really powerful because it allows you to better you know, basically like sort out those leads of people who are not qualified versus who are qualified to talk with you, which will give you a better sales conversion rate if you're getting more qualified leads sent over to you. Now, the next one is website forms. This is really good if you need to share over like some sensitive information. For example, we have a health insurance offer where we um, need to collect like some like health insurance records and stuff like that. And we're sending traffic uh, from those ads to that website and we're still optimizing for leads. There's also a great example right here, which is like my agency page where people can actually book a call with me on my calendar um, by leveraging you know, the website form um, leads event. Now, number three is click to message. This one's also really cool because number one, it also allows you to use the conditional logic feature to basically qualify someone before you know, they actually submit their information so you can get better quality leads for your, your uh, sales team. Now, the also other cool thing I like about this is it makes it feel like it's a more one-on-one, -on -one, you know, for the customer, like they're actually talking to a human, even though it's all automated and you can easily set up the automation of what you want the messaging bot basically to say for you um, inside of the ads manager. And here, this is a really cool, I like this a lot. Um, and like I said, I also really like the conditional logic feature for this one because we can better sort those leads before they're over sent over to the team. Now, the last one, the is call ads. Call ads are also really cool, specifically for people who, you know, maybe they need to like call to reserve a table. If it's like a restaurant, for example, a restaurant could be pushing these, you know, like throughout the day that they're open and during those hours. Uh, we also have another like health insurance type offer. Uh, where we had a sales team that would literally just answer calls all day and we just run traffic to get people to call during a certain period of time. And you know, this, this also works really well if you have like a more complex product too that needs a little bit more talking, chatting with that person to better break down that product for them um, before they actually kind of like, you know, or more interested, I guess you could say, into um, that sales process itself. Now that you know the four types of legion ads you can run 
on Meta. Let's actually build one out together. So today we'll set up an instant form campaign. And this is basically going to replicate the campaign right here that we spent $82,000 on, um, generated over 7,000 leads with $11 cost per lead. And just a couple of best practices before we actually get into setting up this campaign. Um, if you ask three or fewer questions, you can actually get to a 26% lower cost per lead. Um, and if you use a single field for first and last name and set up like a separate, you can actually get a 14% lower cost per lead. And then lastly, if you're asked for an email or phone number, um, just email led to a 26% lower cost per lead. So um, again, these are averages. So, but just things to kind of keep in mind when you're creating this campaign for it to be optimized um, the best. So let's go into our ad account. And again, this would be my personal ad account right here. We're gonna go and hit create and we're gonna click on the leads campaign. Let's load here. All right, cool. And then here we can actually just go in campaign objective lead. Um, I'm doing campaign budget. That's just personally what I like, but you can do ad set budget if you prefer to. Um, then I'm gonna click on next. Then here we're gonna go to websites, I mean uh, instant forms. And then we're gonna go to our Facebook page. Just simply type in that Facebook page that you want to leverage. Now here's the performance goal. There's maximized number of leads and maximized number of conversion leads. Now, the key thing here is that number of leads is really good for volume. Now, maximize number of conversion leads, this one's really good if you use a CRM and if you have the CRM connected with Meta. You do actually have to go set this up yourself. It's not something that's just done automatically, but if you connect your CRM to Meta, which I do recommend, it's really powerful because now you can feed purchase data back from these leads into Meta and it can allow you for a better quality lead in the account. So because I don't have that connect connected right now, I'm just gonna do maximize number of leads for this particular video, but I do recommend conversion leads if you have the CRM connected and you're feeding that purchase data back to Meta. Now from here, I'm just gonna leave this, um, I'm just gonna target United States for this one, um, but you can target whatever location you want. And I'm just gonna leave this on auto basically for all of this. Then I'm gonna click on next. Now here, we're gonna go and start creating our ad. I'm gonna do a single image or video. And then I'm just gonna add a video in for this video. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Uh, new strategy to scale. There we go. So I'm just gonna talk about this new strategy we're using to scale meta ads in 2024. And I'm basically just gonna inquire people to get first access here. And then I'm gonna do a call to action of, I'm actually gonna do apply now for this one right here. And then da, 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 I'm gonna create my form. Now you can call this form whenever you want. I'm just gonna call this YouTube, boom. And then I'm gonna do the more volume form just cause I want more leads. Um, again, higher intent's good if you basically just want to kind of give people another like double chance like to like review things they have. Um, and then I'm just going to do that. Um, I'm not going to put a background image or greeting. I'm just going to make it pretty straightforward uh, once they click on get first access to fill their information here. Then one thing I want to do here is the conditional logic. Now, conditional logic is really powerful because again, it allows me to qualify people based off who I actually want versus just taking everyone right? So if people don't meet certain expectations or criteria, it won't allow them to submit their information. So I'm going to add a question. I'm going to do multiple choice. And this first one will just be, are you an e-com store owner? And then what I'm going to do is if yes, we're going to submit them to our next question, right? So we're going to have to actually come back and fix that. No, then I'm going to close the form for them. Right. What does this mean? So if they answer yes, I'm going to choose the next question for them to um, to do. Um, I just have to create it first. And then if they select no, then it just simply don't doesn't allow them to fill out the rest of the information. If they're not an e-com store owner, I can't help them out. Let's boot them out. So next one, multiple choice. And this one will be how much or are you doing at least thirty thousand dollars a month in revenue? All right. If they do yes. We're going to basically submit the form and I'm just going to send them to the end page, um, basically end page for one for leads. If they click no, we're going to close the form out. Now, I do need to go back here and actually add the next question for them. Boom. There we go. So basically, the logical go is there's this first question. Are you an e-com store owner? You can kind of see right here. 
um, if they click yes, then what will happen is then it'll go to, are you doing at least $30,000 a month in revenue? Again, this is just because these are the leads that I want. And you can add in your own conditional logic based off what you need here. If yes, then we're going to send them to the correct ending page. Um, if no, then basically they're just be like, Hey, you know, you're not really, you, you, you're not really good fit here. Not going to help us out. Then let's click next. Then here I'll do our privacy policy. Oh wait, one thing before we do this, I didn't actually show you all this. You can also add a category, um, add a couple other things right here for like the information we need. So we got email, we got name. I'm also going to add phone number in real quick. All right, cool. Then click next. Um, I'm gonna add in our privacy policy real quick. Cool. And then I'm gonna click on next. And then here I just need to make sure I do, basically this is like the ending page for lead. So basically people who are qualified, they meet your conditional logic criteria, then here we're basically just going to show them this landing page. And then you can do a few things. You can like send them a file, for example, if you want. Maybe you can give them to where they can call your businesses or even like send them a promo code. Um, but I'm just gonna send them to our website so that way they can learn more about us cool and then i also need to do this for the people who are not considered a lead these are people basically who didn't meet our conditional logic criteria and these are people we just want to kind of like boot out the system so i'm basically just going to say hey based off your answers this might not be the best fit for you but here's also our website that they can take a look at and maybe they can find some other things on our website right so two different ways we can help them um, and then from here, all I want to do is hit create form and there we go. And then we have our form created and then here we can actually publish our ad and that's how we set up our instant form. Now, just a couple tips on campaign management. So first things first is understanding your target CPL and your target CPA. This is your cost per lead and your cost per acquisition. So first things first is what can you spend to acquire a customer? This is how much you're willing to spend to, hey, if you give me X amount, I will give you a customer. I put an example of $200. Then the next question is, what is your lead conversion rate? Conversion rate, this is typically your percentage of leads. If I send you 100 leads, what percentage of these leads can you convert into a sale? So let's just say I send you 100 leads, you convert 10 of them. Well, $200, times 10% equals $20. So as long as we get leads for $20 or lower, we can scale spin. So this is how we figure out our target CPL and our CPA that we need. Um, next thing, I just wanna kind of give a friendly reminder that CPA affects the monthly P&L, not cost per lead. So we'll sometimes have high CPL ads with a lower CPA than an ad with a low CPL with a much higher CPA. And just to show you an example of that right here, here's an account that's all running the exact same, you know, like lead objective. And you can see right here, we spent $6,000, $28 cost per lead, $26 cost per lead, $27 cost per lead. So pretty all good between 26 to 28, um, all went really good spin. But look at the purchases here. This ad spent $6,000 with a $28 CPL with $309 cost per acquisition. This ad right here spent $4,700 with a $796 cost per acquisition. So this is more reasons of why you need to make sure you connect your CRM to the Meta Ads Manager so that way you can actually send that data back and forth between each other and actually get that data back on the ad level to where you can make better decisions for scaling. Now, as far as scaling spend, we like to look at cost per acquisition because again, CPL can be misleading. And I like to look at cost per acquisition every day and either increase that by 20% or decrease that by 20% based off the last three to seven days of data. Now, again, this is just personally what we like to do and what we personally have seen work the best for our accounts, but you're more than welcome to also do your own scaling methods. Now, you just got a ton of leads. What do you do now? First things first is follow up. I've seen so many people make the mistake of just get a bunch of leads and they call them once and then they never hear from them again and they just like, oh, that's it. That's a dead lead. Well, for us and what we've personally seen work best for our clients is if these clients and sales team is following up with these leads every day for the first seven days when they come on board as a lead, send texts, send um, calls, 
um, all of these good things right here help out with improving the percentage of those leads that actually turn into sales calls, which if you get more sales calls, you're also going to get a better cost per acquisition because you're increasing the number of those leads turning into sales. So that's a big one right there that we've seen with a lot of clients. And again, what we've personally seen work the best for us. And then lastly is as you close more deals, you want to consistently refine the system, understand what kind of key messaging people are saying on these sales calls and start to use more of that in your ad creatives to allow you to get you know, better ads essentially into the um, ad account, which again, also will help you out with attracting your right audience and also to help out with like leads, uh, CPL and CPA things. Now, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Again, I want to thank you Meta for sponsoring today's video. Uh, make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank y'all so much for watching. My name is Nick Terrio. Take y'all later. Peace out.